God bless you, Akadra, for doing the action songs. Now, if Kevin is online, he can do the summary of lesson and the memory verse. Matthew chapter 24, verse 1 to 39 says, Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor. Love your neighbor as yourself. Mm. The Bible teaches us to love God completely and also to love our neighbors as ourselves. God loves us so much that he sent his only son to die for us so that we will be saved. Let us, let us show love to one another. Give to, what, give to someone who is in need. Help someone if you are able to help. And God will bless you. Amen. 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 God bless you, Kevin. Now we're going to hear a love seminar from our very own Auntie Angie. Hi, children. I have, I have children of the Lord. Of the Lord. Jesus. Friends of little children. That is good. How are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. Today we are going to be talking about a very important topic. Mm. We are going to talk about love. How many people are excited to talk about love today? I want you to unmute yourself and respond, okay? When I ask any question, I will want you to respond. So when you are ready, you unmute yourself. So how many people, um, how many of us are happy to talk about love today? Okay. So we're going to talk about love and the memory verse that we will um, we will all learn today is taken from Luke chapter 10, verse 27. Luke Chapter 10, verse 27. So it says, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your might, and love your neighbor as yourself. So I want us all to say it together. If you can see my screen, let's say it together. Luke chapter 10, verse 27. Luke chapter 10, verse 27. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. With all your soul. With all your soul. And with all your strength. And with all your strength. And with all your mind. And with all your mind. And love your neighbor as yourself. And love your neighbor as yourself. That's good. Now say it all by yourself. Luke chapter 10, verse 27. Love the Lord God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your strength. And with all your mind, love your neighbor. That's very good. 
Amen. Amen. You done very well. Well, clap for yourself. So we are going to talk about love. Who can tell me what love is? In your own words, what is love? Can somebody tell me what love is? Love is to show affection to somebody. That's very good. That is very good. Anybody else? Okay. Yes, sorry. Mom. Yes, love means to be kind to. So that is what we are going to talk about. You have already have some idea about what love is. So we're going to talk about it. Now, when you look at the dictionary definition of love, when you look at the dictionary definition of love, it says it's an intense feeling of deep affection. So just as uh, you said, it's an intense feeling of deep affection. So something or somebody that you really, really like, something that is of great interest to you. So you show your love to that. So example of love, is what's the love that we have for our parents. Our parents love us so much that they want to make sure that we are okay all the time. So what are some of the things that parents do to show that we, they love us? Can somebody tell me some of the things that parents do to show that they love us? Providing us food. Providing us food, that's very good. Discipline. What else? Show respect. That's good. Mm -hmm. What else? They provide some Okay. If you can repeat what you said so I can hear better. They provide somewhere where we can sleep. Yes, they provide somewhere where we can sleep. So we are not left in the cold, right? That's very good too. What else? <laughs> They give us our needs. They give us our needs. Like what? Like clothes, shelter, and... Mm -hmm. That's very good. They give us our needs. They provide a place for us to, to sleep. They give us food to eat. Any other one? Is, this is from, I think, Jeremiah. Either Jeremiah or Samuel Asariado. They say they discipline us. Yes. They discipline us when we are wrong. So that and, we can, mm -hmm. And this from Ella Makate. She says they take good care of you when you are sick. That's also very good. They take good care of us when we are sick. So everything that you've said is very, very true. Their parents show love to us. They give us food. They give us clothes to wear. They provide shelter. They make sure that we get good education. Sometimes we don't want to learn, but because our parents love us so much, they force us, even when we don't want to learn, to sit down and learn because they want us to have a good future. They introduce us to God. They help us to know that, yes, God is the only God and the, the one that loves us so much, and we, we should also express our love to other people. So they introduce us to God. They listen to us when we need to talk. Sometimes we feel like there's so many things going on in our mind. We want somebody to talk to. And then our parents are there and then they talk to us. So these are some of the things our parents do to show that, yes, they really like, love us. They really, really like us. Can somebody tell me some of the things or the people that they also love? So love can be to somebody, to something. So can somebody tell me? some of the things that they love or some of the people that they love in their life? God. God, that's great. Jesus, Jesus. that's nice too. Family. Family. Family, Family. yes. Family. Mm -hmm. Any other? Friends. And friends. Our friends, yes. So that's all very good too. So we love our families, we love our friends, we love, what did you say? We love our country, we love, mm -hmm. some people love sports, some people love um, reading. So these are some of the things that we, we, we love. And the Bible also teaches us to love. And when we read um, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, 
verse 4 to 7. Can somebody read it for us? Today, I want everybody to be active. Make sure you are ready to talk. Make sure you are ready to write something down. So, can Ella, Ella, can you read? Okay. What, first, 14, chapter 13, verses 4 to 7. Love is patient. Love is kind. It doesn't, it is, it does not even, it does not envy. It, envy. it does not, it is, it is not proud. It does not dishonor other. It's not self speaking. It's not easy. Agree. Argued. It keeps no records of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoice with the truth. It's always protects. It's always trust. Always hope. Always preserves. Love always perseveres. So that is very good, Allah. That was good reading. So yes, that is how the Bible tells us about love. So that when you read this passage, it tells us the characteristics of love. Love is patient. Love is patient. Love is kind. So yes, when you love somebody, you are always kind to the person. Love does not boast. You don't go and boast and say, oh, look at what I have and what do you have? You don't have anything. What, who are you? Love does not boast like that. Love is not arrogant. Love is not rude. It's very respectful. Love does not demand its own way. Oh, it's my way. If you don't go like it, well, stop it. It's, it's you. It's all about me. That is not love. Love is not irritable or resentful. Love does not keep record of wrong. Remember what you did last week? Remember what you did this yesterday? Do you really remember? I can count about 10 things that you have done against me already. Oh, yes. You remember two years ago that I asked you for food? You didn't give me some? Oh, remember 20 years ago? I asked you to play with my toy, your toy. You said, no, no, it doesn't keep record of the wrong things. Love does not rejoice in injustice. So when somebody is being wrong, you don't have to say, oh yeah, he deserves it. Look at you now, look at you. No, that is not love. Love never gives up. It never loses faith. It's always hopeful. It's always hopeful. The love always hopes that something good will happen. It never fails. It lasts forever. So when you read this chapter, uh, verse, chapter, First uh, Corinthians chapter thirteen, verse four to eight, it tells you how you can love and ways that you can show love. Now I want somebody to uh, volunteer and tell me. I need three people, so you can raise your hand so I can see you and call you. I'll need three people. Pick any of the characteristics that you see and tell me what it means. Can somebody raise your hand and let me know? Or just shout it out. If I don't see anybody, I'll call you. Okay, Margaret. Can you pick one of the characteristics and tell me what you know about it? Love is patient. So mm -hmm. it means that like they don't, they wouldn't rush you to like like love me. Like I want you to love me, love me now. It's mm -hmm. that's very good. That's very very good, Margaret. Somebody else can go. Yes. Oh. So I think give two parts and raise their hand. Okay, give to you. Um, love does not envy or boast. When you when you love someone, you don't you're not jealous of them. That's good. That is very good. You are not jealous at all. You really celebrate in their victories or whatever successes that they they, they attain. You don't jealous. That's that's not love. Any any other Emma? I think I see Emma Emma's hand.
I think Emma is the same person as uh, Gifty Party, if I'm not wrong. Oh, okay. But I can see Samantha and Galazi 18. Please, those okay. who are having their gadget names, if you can change the name to your name, it will be very easy for us. Thank you very much. But I see Samantha and Galazi 18. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Okay, let's finish Hi. with Samantha. I do one. Uh, I have one. Somebody's been here. Yes, Samantha, I'm waiting for you. Uh, love is not rude. When it means love is not rude, it means that you should not be rude to one another and you mm -hmm. should be kind to them. Mm -hmm. That's very good. Love is not rude at all. If you are rude, you are not showing any love at all. So that's good. One last one, then we move on. Be a queer. My name's a queer. A queer. Okay, a queer. Can you tell me? Love never fails and it lasts forever. That means that means if you feel love and you do something bad, it la it lasts forever. You can always you can always fix it. Yes, last forever. You don't say I love you today, tomorrow. I don't love you. I hate you tomorrow. I will hate you so much tomorrow. I can only love you for 10 minutes and that's it. No, love is forever. So you've all done very well. Now, what does the Bible say about love? We, we've, we've learned, oh, what's going on? Let me just see. Okay. So let's say God is love. God is love. When we read 1 John chapter 4, verse 8, it says that anyone who does not love does not know God because God is love. So what does it mean? What it means is that the nature of God is love. The nature of God is love. So when you experience God, you experience love. When you accept God, you accept love. When God talks to you, he talks to you in love. When God touches you, he touches you in love. You know how sometimes our parents put a hand around us? When God does that to you, he's doing that to you in love. Everything that comes out of God is love because God is love. That is his nature. And the kind of love that God has for us is called agape love. That's a big word. Agape love. Can everybody say agape love? Agape love. Agape love. Agape love. Agape love. Yes, it's a big word. Yes. But that is the kind of love that God has for us. Love is a very big topic. When I was trying to put this together, I was trying to figure out how I can put everything in a very simple terms for us to understand. And I realized that love is a very, very, very big topic. So we will try and put it in a way that we can all understand, okay? So love, the kind of love that God has for us is called agape love. It means that God's love is perfect, perfect. There's nothing wrong with God's love. It's just right, it's perfect. It is not based on conditions like, okay, if you give me your food, I will love you. If you give me something, I will love you. I will love you because you make me play with your, your, your tablet or with your PS4 or with your phone. I will love you because you did something to me. No, that is not love. God's love is not based on conditions. God's love is freely. It's, God gives us love freely without expecting anything in return. God doesn't love us because we did something for him. No, in fact, God loved us when we were still sinners. When we were still sinners, we're very filthy in the eyes of God, God still loved us. God loves us because that is his nature. And whatever God does, he does it from love. God's love is sacrificial. What it means is that, okay, you have your turn. God's love is sacrificial it's because he gave his only son to die for us, to save us. 
So that is the nature of God, and that is the nature of God's love to us. Now, how does God show his love for us? I want somebody to tell me how God shows his love for us. He blesses us. He forgives us of our sins. He forgives us our sins. Okay, Daniel. To keep us safe. God keeps us safe. That's also very good. Anything else? Can I talk, please? Always with yes, us tell us. We'll what did you say? He does our heart desire. He does our hard desires. That's very good. So some of the things that we want to have, the things that we desire to have, God makes it come true for us. So that is very good. So that is some of, some of the things that God do, does for us. And you've all answered were. So God loves us so much. He sends his only son to die for us. He gives us life. He heals us when we are sick. He gives us all our needs. He supplies all our needs. And you've answered very, very well. So as we are saying, God is love. God is love. Everything about God is love. And if we are saying that we are children of God, we also have to have some love in us. Since God is love and we have been created in the image of God and we are God's children, we must have some love in us. We must have the nature of God in us. So we must, we must um, love, we must not only love those who love us, we must love even the people who don't love us, right? We, we remember it is not conditional. We must love and we must, um, we must not expect anything in return. Now let's see how God wants us to love. Let's see how God wants us to love. How does God want us to love? Can somebody read what is on the screen? Luke chapter 10, verse 27. Me. Mami okay. Danekia, please go. Luke 10, verses 27. Mm -hmm. love, the, love the Lord, you, you, your God, with all your heart and with all your strength and with all your mind and love yourself. Good. Love, oh, love that's very God. good reading, Nanakia. That's very good. And let's do everything that you said. That's very good. So love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. So basically, this means that love God, one, love yourself, so love God, love your neighbor as you love yourself. He said, love your neighbor as yourself. But what it basically means is love, love your neighbor as you love yourself. So you love God, you love yourself, you love your neighbor. And how does God want us to love God? With all our strength, with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our might, every part of our body we should use to love God. We should use every part of our body to love God. It means that you can't just say, oh, I only use my hand to love God or oh, just my soul. No, every part of your body, you have to use it to love God. Now, how can we show our love to God. What are some of the things we can do to show our love to God? Can somebody tell me what some of the things we can do? Mm. Yes, Daniel. To pray to him. To pray read to his him. word. Read his word. That's good. What else? Mami Akuya, I haven't done Nana. it. Nana, can you say it again? Uh, love Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Yes. Like, like be treat your neighbor like you want to be treated. That is very good. That is very good. So some of the things that we can do to show love to God are we have to pray. Like somebody said, we have to pray to God. We have to talk to God. 
And we have to let God also talk to us. You know, prayer is not only one way. It's not only talking at God. No. When we talk to God, then God also talks to us. So that's why it's important that we pray. So we have to pray. If you love somebody, you want to talk to the person, right? You can't love somebody and say, okay, well, I love you, but I will never talk to you. That is being rude, right? But love is not rude. So love means you have to talk to the person that you love. And that means you talk to God. Love also means you spend time with God, which means you fellowship. Just like what we are doing is spending time with God. Because you remember the Bible says wherever two or three are gathered, God is there, right? So it means as we have gathered before God, if we are listening, God is here. So it means we are spending time with God. It also means that we, when you're spending time with God, you are reading your Bible. And then you are reading, you meditate on the word of God. You let the word of God talk to you. And then you understand the word of God. And God will say something that is very important to you in the time that you are spending reading about the word of God. So fellowshipping with God, reading the word of God, being obedient to God. You know, when we read our Bibles and God talk to us, or even when we come to church and we learn about God and God talk to us, we have to do what God has spoken to us about. So we have to do it. That means we are being obedient. And if you do that, then God is going to be really proud of you. So these are some of the ways that we can show our love for God. Now remember, it's love your God, love yourself, love your neighbor. So now we are going to look about love yourself. Love yourself. You have to learn to love who you are, right? Love to appreciate who you are. Love that you have been wonderfully and fearfully made. Love that God has made you a very, very special person. That you are the only one who, who is like you, right? You might look like your brother. You might look like your sister. You might look like your parents. But you are not them. You are not your brother. You are not your sister. You are you. You are this very special person that God has created you to be. You are you. God has made you one of a kind. There is nobody like you. So you should love yourself and love who God has made you. Appreciate who you are. I know sometimes some people might say, oh, I don't like my nose. I have a really big nose. No, I don't I like my ears at all. I have big ears. No, that is remember God has wonderfully and fearfully made you. So love it. Love who you are. Don't use your body for bad things. Don't use your body for things that are not good, like smoking, like doing drugs. You know, some people do drugs, right? That is not good. Some people smoke. That is not good. When you do that, you are polluting your body. You're spoiling your body. Do you want the body that God created to be spoiled? No. Don't spoil your body. Let God be proud of who you are. Let God to be proud that you have protected the very special person that he made. So feed your body with good things. Feed your body with good food don't eat junk exercise rest when you need to rest and use your body to serve god i've been talking at you for too long now can somebody tell me how they can love themselves how can they can show love to themselves by by eating healthy uh taking care of your body personal hygiene mm -hmm. and just stay positive about yourself that's very good by staying positive, by eating health. That's very good. Anybody else? One, one, one more. To take care of your body. Mm -hmm. How do you take care of your body? Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I see that somebody has raised your hand. Let me see who it is. It's it's me. A uh, way yeah. to to love to love yourself is that say that I uh, so, so say if I was sad, I would I would uh, give myself a compliment a compliment and say I am brave and and nobody can change who I am. That is very good. Com say compliments to yourself. Don't always say bad things to yourself. Oh, look at me. I'm never good. I can't do this. I, I am never good. Even when I try, I'm not good at all. No. Compliment yourself and keep trying and you will make it, right? So that is very, very good. And thanks for saying that. So uh, Auntie go Angie, we have some responses in the chat line. I okay. think from Samantha. Samantha says it's in healthy. It's healthy. healthy. And from Margaret, and I believe that's Margaret or Seus. Yeah. Feed your mind and soul with the word of God. That's good too. That's yeah. very, very good. You are all smart kids and I love you so much. That's good. So yes, so the Bible wants us to love God, love yourself, and then love your neighbor. So it means that it's very important it says, love your neighbor as yourself. So it means it's very important that you love yourself. If you don't love yourself, you can't love your neighbor. So if you say, love your neighbor as yourself, then you have to look at yourself first and see, do I love myself? What am I, if, if I don't love myself and I'm loving my neighbor, how am I loving my neighbor? It means that there's something wrong somewhere. So it means that we have to love ourselves then we have to love our neighbor. Now we're going to the next one, which is love your neighbor. And who is your neighbor? And who can tell me who a neighbor is? Excuse me, um, mm -hmm. uh, Andy. I just want to say that on my screen, I can't see the other slide. Oh, you can't see? No, okay. it, says, it still says love yourself. Yes. I'm just waiting for you to tell me about who your neighbor is. I will show you my slide very soon. Okay, I so, know what a neighbor is. Okay, so tell so, me. So a neighbor is a person that you live beside and you're kind of close friends with. That is so good. You are like a dictionary now. You just said it right. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> you said it right. Oh, that's wow, very good. That's so good. <laughs> yeah, so a neighbor... Is somebody who lives close to you, who is just very, very like, I can't even use your words now. I'm uh, trying to get Auntie back. Angie, please, for yeah. the benefit of those who wrote in the chat, this yeah. from Stephen Ansa. He says your neighbor is the person beside you. Yes. And Jeremiah Asariadu to say it's someone who lives close to you. Okay. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. So you are all, like I said, you are all very smart. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy that I'm work I'm working with encyclopedias and dictionary. So that's mm -hmm. so good. So a neighbor is just what you said, somebody who lives close to you. And uh, yes, so that is our neighbor. And the Bible also says that a neighbor is somebody who needs help. Somebody, a neighbor is somebody who needs help. So anybody that needs help, although they might not live very close to you, and need some help, that person would be your neighbor. So Jesus even said, he told his disciples that a neighbor might even be somebody who hates you. So it might not be only the people that love you that you will consider your neighbor. A neighbor might be somebody who doesn't like you at all. Even that person you consider as neighbor. So you can show love you can show the love of God to this person because God says, love your neighbor. Now, how can you show love to your neighbor? How can you show love to your neighbor? By yes. being there for them. By being there for them. That's very good. What else? By helping them out. By helping them out. Like what? By, by, um, Taking good care of them when they feel or when they feel sick and like me and um like their parent is gone and you're like a little older and you know some stuff that can help mm -hmm. 
you're able to feel better when their parents are gone. That's good. That's very good. So you keep an eye on your neighbor. Make sure your neighbor is safe, right? Anybody else? Anybody else? To I think uh, this is from Manuel. Mm -hmm. Manuel in Japan. He says volunteering to do something for them. Mm -hmm. And Jeremiah Sariado by helping them. By helping them. So that's very good. You know that even this coronavirus that has come up and then we are all staying home, remember? We are, we are all supposed to be home. So what can you do to help a neighbor at that time when you are home? Call to see call how them. they're doing. Yes, call to see how they are doing. Or, because you can, or you can video call them on your tablet or whatever. Oh, you, you are all very smart. Yes. And this is from Jeremiah Sariado. He says, you have to be nice and help them. Yes, you can be nice and help them. And Daniel says you can go to go on Zoom and talk to your friends. You are all <laughs> you are all very, very smart people. Yes, because sometimes people feel so alone at home. They can't see their friends. They can't talk to their friends. They can't go. They went until now. We because I think we are going back to school on Tuesday, and until then we are all home. So you can still call your friends. You can still show them some uh, Auntie Angie, this yes. is from Manuel. He says, if you are going to buy something, ask them if you can buy something for them too. Oh, you <laughs> are very kind. Oh. Yes, that's so good. So that is how you love your neighbor. That is how God wants us to love. So he says, love your neighbor as you love yourself. So now that you know you love yourself, you know what you need to feed your body, you do the same thing to your, your neighbor. So you treat them, treat others with love and respect. You show and your support. neighbor. And support, yes. You show that, that you care for them, you like them, you talk to them about God, right? You know how good is it to serve God? So that you, now that you know how good is it to serve God and how God loves you so much and take care of your needs, you want your neighbor to also know how good God is. So you talk to your neighbor about God, you invite them to church. So the people that have been inviting people to Sunday school, I'm clapping for you because you are doing what God wants you to do. Yeah, well done. Yeah, you are inviting them to church. You love your neighbor. You do good things. So all the things that you said, it means that you are loving, you are showing love in action. I love, you are loving in action. You are showing it in a way that others will know, others will see, and then they will also continue to love God. So that is some of the things that we can do to show uh, our neighbor, and you've all answered well. Now the next one that we're going to do is what is today's date? February 14th. February 14th, which is known as Valentine's Day. Yes. Which is a day, which is a day to love someone and care for them. Say that again. Oh, I, it's me, Mommy. Valentine's Day is that I think is a day for caring for people and to love someone and to do nice things. That is That's so true. And it's February 14th, right? And it is Valentine yeah. Day. Yes. And so today is Valentine Day. I want everybody to say happy Valentine's Day. Happy, happy, Valentine's, happy Valentine's Day. Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Yes, so today is Valentine's Day, and that's why we are talking a lot about love today. And um, it's a day that people show love to their friends, their families, their neighbors, in all the ways that you talked about. So now I want everybody to take a piece of paper mm. and uh, a pen or pencil or whatever you write with. And I want you to think about something or the... Um, somebody that you you want to show love to just i know you have so many people that you want to show love to but just pick one person that you want to show I love have one. to 
and then write down what you will do for this person. Remember all the characteristics that we talked about? All the things that we talked about, the characteristics of love and all that you have said. Think about that and then write just one person. There are thousands of people that we want to show love to, but just write one. And then write what you want to do for this person. And then when you are ready, you raise your hand. Uncle Nietzsche will help me. We will just pick up our five. Okay, so I think some people have already raised their hands. Um, oh, it's gone. Some people raised up their hands, but... They, I think I see three, two people or three people have raised their hands. Yeah, but it's not showing on their list. I don't know why. Oh, okay. If we don't see, can you just... Okay, I think I have right from Ikria. Uh, yeah, Ikria, I see and Nana. Okay, so... I, so for my mom, I would give, I would make, uh, make breakfast for her with my parents' permission, with my dad's permission, and make breakfast for her in bed. That is so beautiful. That's so good. <laughs> nice. Okay, Jeremiah Sariado has raised that behind. Okay, Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah. I never said I would raise the okay. What did you say? I didn't raise my hand. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Now who raised your hand? Okay, Kevin, you want to say something? I know this is Valentine's Day. You're supposed to um, love each other, but I also think it's important to love yourself too um, and think positively about yourself. Um, so what I put down is myself and think of myself in a positive way. Okay, that's a very good tool because love yourself, love your neighbor, love God. That's good. What else? I would do something. Alexia? Alexia? No, that's Jeremiah. Oh. Jeremiah. Well, I would do something uh, to my mom. I would love her as she loves us so much and she oh. does everything that she does for us that is and very I'll good do, and i'll do the same thing for her that is so good nice mm. one okay margaret i see your hand up oh so i'm gonna do my mom i would massage her and hey. i would make her food if she's hungry that is good nice massaging that's very good and it's very important too right Good job. Last one, and then we can wrap up. Anybody wants to share? Okay. Okay. Daniel, what have you written? I said... I said... I said, I said, I love my friend Penny, even, even, even if we can't, even if we can't go to school. Okay. Even if we can't go to school, even if we can't go to school, I can call him. Good. So you love your friend Kenny, even if you can't go to school, you can call him. Okay, Mariah, I see your hand up. So we take one last one for Mariah. I will clean up for my mom sometimes because I like cleaning. That is good. That is very good. So you would help, you help her so that she, you take some of the workload from her. And that is very good. That's also a way of showing that. So you've all done very well. And you've all uh, contributed to make our learning very beautiful. So let's just share the memory verse one more time and then we go. So what is the memory verse? Let's say it together. Luke chapter 10, verse 27. Luke, Luke 10, verse 27. Verse 27. With all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength with all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself and love your neighbor 
Welcome. That's so good. Great job, everyone. And thank you for participating. You've done very well. So I hand over to you, MC. God bless you so much, Auntie Angie, for such a powerful word today about love. And we learned that God's love is unconditional and he does it from the bottom of his heart. So what do you say to Auntie Angie? God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Now I'm going to enter into a short time of prayer. I'm going to ask Nana and Jemaine to lead us. Hey, hi, everybody. Hi. 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 Perfect. Hi. Okay, so I would like everybody to close their eyes as we go into a short time of prayer. Okay. Okay, so Father, we give you all the glory, we give you all the praise. We thank you for giving us the opportunity to learn about your word in regards to love. Uh, Father, I pray that you give us the ability to love you with all of our hearts, with all our soul, with all our strength, and with all our minds. Help us to acknowledge the agape love that you have for us. And Father, help us and give us the opportunity to and a heart to forgive and love one another just as you have loved us. And um, as well, importantly, help us to love and obey our parents, our teachers, our other relatives, and our other loved ones. And importantly, help us to love you unconditionally just as you loved us. Help us to obey your word and meditate on it day and night to show that we love you. Father, help us to be patient and to be helpful and to be nice to one another. And more importantly, to treat one another as we want to be treated. We ask this in Jesus' name that we prayed. And everybody says, Amen. Amen. I'm going to hand it over to Uncle Nietzsche for the roll call. No, today the roll call will be done by the teacher on duty. So, teacher on duty, please, you know yeah. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the yeah. roll call, um, who is, so there's a number here with, with no name. Could, could you identify that number? So, six. Okay, four, the number is six four seven nine two three nine one seven five. Please, who is the person? I think that's the only person with a number online. The number, right? yeah. yeah. Please, can you mention your name? Please, as we, I told you last week, you need to be mentioning your names so that we can keep the records, you know. Okay, the person is called Jonathan Michael. Please. Who is Jonathan? No, that's not the person, right? Mm -hmm. Please, can you mention your name? This is not working. Oh, okay. Let me just put it as one, you know. Maybe um, that... because that's the only number without the name. Yeah. yeah. I think um we have who is iPhone six? Who is iPhone six, please? iPhone six. And how many are you? Again, uh, wow. the person is not talking. All right, I think this is from Jonathan. Please, Jonathan Michael, how many are you? Jonathan Michael, I think this is the first time I'm seeing this person. Jonathan Michael is my friend. I invited him. Oh, we invited him. Francisca. Oh, Francesca, God bless you. Let's clap for Francesca. Everybody clap for that. Clap for her, clap for her, clap for her. So how many are they? How many are they? One. Oh, it's one. You invited him, right? Right. So, Jonathan, can we hear your voice? We want to say hi to you. Jonathan, we just want to say hi to you and welcome you. He laughs. He laughs. He left. 
Okay, okay, okay. So invite me again next week, eh? All right. Um, Jesse and Manfred, you are two, right? I think Jesse yeah. and Manfred, they are two. Yeah. Okay. Jesse, please send me your number again. The number you sent the last time doesn't work. So please, can you send me the correct number? And, okay, okay. I think Galaxy 810 is Mary, right? Okay. Yes. You are Viola online. Viola, is Viola online? All right. Uh, I think Viola. Who is Melvin? And Melvin, how many are you, please? This is the Melvin first is my friend. Oh, Melvin is also invited two people, right? That's yeah. good. Wow, that's nice. Melvin, can we hear your voice and say hi to you? Melvin. Hi. Hi, Melvin. Please, everyone say hi to Melvin. Hi, Melvin. Hi, Melvin. Hi, Melvin. Wow. We are, we are so happy to have you with us today. And we are expecting... Melvin, I hope you learned a lot today, right? Did you enjoy the service? Yeah. Okay. We are hoping to see you next. So, Francisca, are they the only people you invited? Yeah. Or invited more people? Okay. So, Francisca invited two people today. Let me put it on record. Francisca has two people. All right. So, hey, so Francisca and Ella, you guys are challenging each other. So, Francisca, two. Ella brought two last week. That's very good. Okay. I think I'm, please, if in case you are online, who is Leaf? Someone wrote who the name Leaf. Leaf. Who is Leaf? Who is Leaf, please? That was Melvin. Yeah. Oh, that was Melvin, right? Okay, okay, all right. All right, I think that's all. The rest, I know everyone. Um, in my place, how many are you, please? In my, is it in my place? How many are you there? Gifty? That's Gifty Quattro. Oh, Gifty Quattro. Gifty Quattro, how many are you people? Gifty, Christine, and Mafia. Oh, Gifting, Christine, and Mafia, right? Wow. Yeah. Please, the next time when you come, right, and you are three people, just let me know because I, I always mark your name as one. So that's another. So let me know whenever you are more than one. Thank you very much. So great, Gifty, Christine, and Mafia. That's good. All right. Okay, I think that's all. I think the rest I know everyone. Uh, do I have Gabby and... Um, Mariah, wasn't Mariah and Gabby? Mariah Malakia. Yeah. I think oh, Mariah and Gabby are yeah, there. Yeah. Okay, and what of this one? Uh, Gordon and Gideon. Are they online? Gordon and Gideon. Gordon, Gideon, and Lillian. I've not seen their name. I don't think so. They are not there, right? Okay. I think for the rest, I know everyone. Yeah, so today in total, we have 66 people. We have 66 mm -hmm. people. The iPhone 6, I don't know who the person is. So if the person can still let me know who they are. Do I have Adrian? Adrian online. Adrian, are you online? Adrian, I think Adrian didn't come today. Adrian didn't come. Okay, over to you, Debbie. If you have anything more. Um, so the next is um announcement. It's probably on the line. Yeah, I've been online. Yes, um, okay, thank you. Kopna, can you speak louder? Your voice is a bit low. Okay. <laughs> For announcements, we're gonna I'm sorry, just give me a second. I hope all of you had a wonderful service today. So but for the pro program next week, we're gonna have opening prayer. Michael from downtown. So Michael from downtown is gonna do opening prayer. Okay. Worship. Candela o Candela Oka is gonna do worship for us and action action song. Jeremiah Ifa is gonna do it. Mm. Summary of lesson and memory verse. We're gonna have Samuel Samuel Asari Ado. And the next one lesson, we're gonna have a lesson with Auntie Mary. Jimbo and it's Auntie Mary Jabo. <laughs> sorry, 
So we're going to have Auntie Mary Jabo on okay. one, Samuel, five. We're going to have Uncle Nietzsche do the prayer for us. Roll call, the te um, roll call, teachers on duty. And announcement, we're going to have Treya Obing as some... Um, I don't know. Tyra Obinisima. Tyra Obinisima. Yeah. Tyra Ob yeah. Obinisima. Yeah. Given of ass assignment, teachers on duty. Benediction. I don't know what that is for. Conductor, we're going to have. I don't know how to say the first name. Malich. Is it Malichi? Malachi? For Malachi. 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 We're gonna have Malachi from downtown and mm -hmm. teachers on duty, Auntie Gladys Asamoah. Mm -hmm. Please remember to come with your Bible and notebook and pen for Sunday school. Mm -hmm. um, do you have suggestions for things you, we should do in Easter? Write them down in your notebook and say them next week. God will. Please all grade eight and grade nine students wait behind. I repeat, all grade eight and grade nine students wait behind. Thank you very much. Franklin, Thank over you. to you. Hey, Franklin is missing. Um, That's so, it. It's time for the assignment. Yeah. Yeah, can we do a recap of um, last week's assignment? So how many of you did? Verse chapter 14, verse 5. An honest witness does not lie, but it, a dishonest witness pours out lies. Mm. Yeah, mm. that was, yeah, that was last week's uh, memory verse. Well done. Well done. There was a second part of the assignment. Who remembers it? It was about to nine, list, seven, to do the seven forbidden sins. Remember from today. Pardon? Along the seven forbidden sins. Yes. Okay, I think one after the other. So one person should mention one, right? And if you mention one, you don't have to mention the one your other friend mentioned. Yeah. Okay, I think that's how we do. Okay, Margaret. Jeremy. Okay, Margaret. Margaret, okay. raise their hand. Ah. Uh, Hands that kill those who aren't guilty. Mm hmm Miss, uh, I also have, uh, also have one. Yes, it's ah, uh, a lying tongue. Lying tongue. Mm. False witness. False witness. False witness. Yeah, it's similar to lying tongue. A heart that plots evil. What's your name, please? Oh, Joel. Oh, oh Joel, Joel. Wow, oh, nice. That's nice. Mm -hmm. A heart that plots evil. A heart that plots evil. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so you've mentioned three. It's like with four more. Yes. If you've already mentioned, you can mention again. Proud eyes. Sorry, yes, Margaret, I can like. you... Oh, My proud mind. eyes. Okay, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, the rest. <laughs> Um, let me see. Maybe I left with three more. Sechua. Sechua is online today. Sechua. Yes, can you mention one? Sechua. Sechua or Chua, any of you? Yes, Sechua. 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 Oh, Sechua is not talking. Pardon? Three more. Oh, Sechua, yeah. Can you mention one of the seven forbidden sins according to the assignment we did last week? Oh, were you here last week? I don't think so. She doesn't remember. Wow. I send the assignment to everybody, right? <laughs> I 
think I saved it in your phone. All right. Um, uh, again. Um, Samuel Asariado. I can see your name. Um, wait. What is the assignment? Which one? The one I sent last week. Last week. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, last time. I don't know where my kids are. Oh, you are the one who says you don't know your way of the price, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, who can mention the next two? We are left with two more. Oh, yeah. Can I do it? Okay, your name, please. Sammy Wala. Okay. Uh... Uh, um, uh, hands that shed innocent blood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, a heart that devises wicked schemes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, feet that are quick to rush into evil. Mm, that's what I wanted to hear. Mm -hmm. A false witness who pours out lies and a person who stirs up conflict in the community. Wow. Well done. Well done. You've done so well. Well done. Okay, can we qu quickly go about today's um, assignment? Can everyone see the screen? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so please, yes, I want you to write it in your book. I don't want yeah, to hear yeah. next week, I lost my paper. You should have your book. <laughs> write right. it in a book so that it's in one place, but when you write on paper, it could get missing. Okay, um, so today... I have a question. All right, mm -hmm. what's your question, please? What time are we going for in the evening? Oh, it's 7 p.m. It's a mommy clear. Okay, 7 p.m. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so today's assignment is um, memorize and recite number 624. So, so can you all read? Can you all see? Can you all see the screen? Yes. yes. Okay, so this is the assignment for today. And I would like you to write it down in your books. And then next week, God willing, when you come, you uh, you recite it. So memorize this um, memory verse. And then you, so that um, next week you can come and recite it. So can we all say the memory verse on, on the screen together? Yes. So number six, twenty-four. Let's go. Number six, twenty-four. The Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. 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 And again, God bless all those who led today, Franklin. Hey, Franklin, you did so well today. I'm highly impressed. Franklin, Crystal, Acacia. Um, Kelvin, mm -hmm. Auntie Angie, God bless you so much. Mm -hmm. Nana, German, God mm -hmm. bless you. And Auntie Debbie, our teacher of duty, too. God bless you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, let's let's share the grace. May the grace, the of, grace our of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forever. Amen. 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 Amen.